All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a quick rundown of what we did today in class. And uh, for those of you all seeing this while you're in class, you know that I'll have a sub uh, tomorrow or today. Okay, so let's just quickly go over what we talked about in class, okay? Because I know some of you all will uh, forget this or you won't go back and reread the direction. So let's take a quick look. So remember yesterday we talked about, oh, we started the American uh, Revolution women's roles in uh, the revolution. And we took some notes. Uh, we took focus notes on this. Okay, and I'll go over that in just a moment. And then I also want to spend a little time on the direction so you all are clear on what to do today. All right, so yesterday, if you weren't here, or if you were here, this is just a quick recap of what we talked about uh, yesterday. Now, you're starting a, a project, a research project that you will present in front of the class on women's roles in the revolution, both during the revolution and before the revolution. Now, we took some time to set up uh, our notes. So right here, you may want to pause this and type this into your two column uh, notes that you can find over in Google Classroom. Okay, make sure you make a copy of them before you get started. So now that you have copied these down, um, you know that the uh, factors that helped the Americans win the war, uh, one of the factors was uh, women working during and before the revolution. So, um, we talked about a few roles before the war, and we also talked about a few roles during the war. And I pretty much gave the, uh, I read the, the section, this is chapter six, 2.3, women's roles in the, in the revolution. If you don't see it in Schoology, you'll just have to go to Nat Geo and open it up there. As you can see from these notes here, before the revolution, all we really wanted to capture were the roles. What parts did women play, whether they were official parts or unofficial parts, what role did they play? And as you can see from some of these notes, before the revolution, women were writing in support of liberty and independence, okay? Women were recording the history of the revolutionary period and they were organizers, they were reporters and writers, okay? During the revolution, we started to see a little bit more direct, um, you know, direct involvement. Okay. Some women, because their husbands left to go to fight the war, stayed home and defended the home front. Okay. They ran the household, they ran the farms, they ran the businesses that they started. Some women traveled with the Continental Army. Okay. And with their husbands. Uh, and they became cooks. They became nurses and they also washed clothes. The book continues to talk about uh, spying, espionage. So they became spies. Some dressed up as soldiers and, and actually uh, were involved in combat, your book says. Some were informants, as uh, Sybil Ludington was. Okay. And it continues. So, really, what we put, we put these roles into our notes had a quick discussion and wrote a summary. Now, if you're seeing this part for the first time, I, I do encourage you because I, I think only one class was able to do this, but please go back and include a couple of flat icons in your notes um, that shows some of the roles that women participated in and filled as they fought the American Revolution. Down below, here's the summary. Okay, women played many roles before and during the American Revolution and give one example. And so now you are prepared now uh, to do the research. Okay, and so make sure that you go over to Schoology and open up a set of directions. Let me do that now. In Schoology, you want to go here to um, this week, December, week of the six. And it's right here, women in the American Revolution. And you'll see three things there. The project directions, make sure you open it up and read it. 
the five w, du, excuse me, the five W's document that you'll be filling out today. Okay. And a slide template, something that you can use, you don't need to use it, but it's very basic, very generic. You would need to, to, you know, dress this up and turn it into a well-designed presentation. Let's take a look at the directions here. Okay. And so I'm not going to read through all of this. Okay. What we did yesterday is uh, create groups of four. Those groups of four have already been created. There may be some groups of five. They're doing their entire presentation on one of these topics. Okay. So if you weren't here yesterday, ask your partner which uh, topic you all are working on. And then you're going to go and open up the five W's chart. Okay. So let me take a moment and explain that. This is where most of your time is going to be spent today. And that is doing the research. This is the research part. You all are going to, after you have selected your topic, the entire group is going to now, like the, for example, let's say writers, the entire group now is going to, you know, break up questions one through uh, six. And I think six is optional. The directions say, okay, right here, it says there, these are the six stems, but complete five. So you're going to break up these into, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and give them to your group. One person will research who some of the famous writers were and not just their names, but also, you know, also include a description of them and what they wrote about. Okay. Someone is going to, you know, research the, what, you know, what they wrote about, um, <clears throat> Yeah, what they wrote about. Where would you find most of their writings? We saw in the textbook how I think Abigail Adams or or Mercy uh, Otis was elected to um, a select committee, right, in the Massachusetts colony. So that would be where. <clears throat> when, obviously, would be what time period. Okay, be very specific here. Okay, this is not just a date. This is also, <clears throat> excuse me. When were their writings published? Um, okay, so this is kind of like frequency. How often did they write? Where did their writings show up? Okay, and then number five would be why. Why were they writing? Your book talks about, if you did some research in your book, talks about the women wrote. All right, so sorry for that weird cut. We will um, just make sure that you're filling in the five W's and everything will be just fine. Next, don't forget to take a look at this template. Okay. It's a very basic template. Okay. You and your group are going to concentrate on one of the topics. Okay. Not several of them. If you're doing writers, then everyone in your group is doing writers. If you're doing uh, women on the home front, then everyone is doing that. And you're answering the five W's. Here you see two slides for each of those five W's. If you and your group can get all of your answers and research onto two of these slides, then great. If you need more slides, then please add more. <clears throat> and also don't forget the directions say that you need to provide a summary in your, in your uh, presentation. So if there are four of you, and if each person uh, writes a two sentence summary, from their research and you all combine it and put it onto this slide, then that'll take care of the paragraph summary. Okay. And then don't forget your work cited page for that. All right. Okay. So that is it. That's a quick summary of what you should be working on. And uh, if you've been away and just uh, returned and you're joining us, just make sure you go back, take your focus notes, maybe ask some of your partners if you can uh, look at their focus notes so you can copy. And then be prepared to uh, present your presentation by this Friday. Okay? I'll see you on Thursday.